Hey everybody, welcome to Niagara Wine Videos. I'm Brad and I bring you the story behind Niagara's finest wines. And this is your LCBO pick of the week. Uh, and this week's wine uh, goes to Elephant Hill. It's a Pinot Noir from Central Otago in New Zealand. Central Otago is New Zealand's most southerly um, wine appellation. So uh, it gets quite cool there. And uh, remember, Pinot Noir favors cool climates. Um, I love Pinot Noir for this reason alone. Uh, it's, it's grown in like creepy places, right? So if you think of hot regions like Barossa uh, in uh, Australia, Napa Valley, uh, in California, these are, you know, hot places, probably, you know, you could envision cactuses and, you know, flowers and it's sunny out and beautiful, right? Um, where Pinot Noir is growing, it's, it's usually overcast, cloudy, creepy fog from the ocean comes in and covers it for most of the day. You find this in the Russian River Valley in uh, California and uh, sometimes in the mountainous region, uh, Santa Lucia Highlands, uh, Santa Rita Hills, in California and in Central Otago as well. So, um, you know, it's got, it's, it's grown in creepy places. I just, I love that about Pinot Noir. Um, but this style, Central Otago style, it's usually, um, it's got some nice weight to it. Some nice creamy, uh, full body without being tannic, right? That's the, the, the magic of Pinot Noir, right? Um, it can be weighty and full body, but not tannic, uh, as as a as a cab would feel in your mouth, so uh, that's usually why people fall in love with uh, Pinot Noir: the silkiness, the elegance, the sexiness of it. Right, um, Central Tago. I like these Pinot Noirs because um, they remind me of wines from the Russian River Valley. They have real nice, lush qualities to them. You know, real deep black cherry. Uh, sometimes they even give you like a, a creme brulee or, or like a cream feel, even um, a taste and sensation in your mouth. Very creamy. Uh, so this is really the first style of Pinot Noir I fell in love with. And then later I got into, you know, Burgundies. But uh, let's face it, Burgundy is expensive, right? So you're going to pay always, you know, for a really good Burgundy, $50 and up. Uh, where this uh, Pinot Noir, I think is 28 regular price, but it's on sale for $24.99, so $25. You're drinking world-class Pinot Noir from Central Otago. So if you've never had a wine from Central Otago, look it up on the internet right now. There it is right there, Central Otago, O-T-A-G-O. -O. Um, Wikipedia it, Google it, look it up. Look at where uh, it's growing. Most beautiful place probably in the world. It's just, it's crazy, it's mystical. I think the majority of um, uh, movies, uh, you know, what's that movie? Um, you know, the, the dragons and the, you know, Harry Potter. <laughs> Sorry, I've never really seen a Harry Potter movie. But I've been told they were, the majority of them were filmed in central Otago. So, <clears throat> you know, has that folklore weirdness to it. Uh, Beautiful place. Anyway, getting away from things, as always, let's just pour the wine uh, so you can see it. Even when you pour it, I mean, it looks like medicine almost. Like, you know, it's got like an iodine thickness to it, but it's light. I mean, you can still see through it, you know? The um, wines from Central Otago are just absolutely beautiful. They're, um, they're elegant. Uh, they're lush. They're delicious, really. Um, they're everything you want Pinot Noir to be. And if you've never tried one, definitely, definitely look for Central Otago Pinot Noir at the LCBO or wherever you are in the world. Um, if you are at the LCBO, look for Elephant Hill because uh, it is a good example, um, in my opinion, and it's on sale. So what better reason to get world-class Pinot Noir?